Each year, billions of dollars are spent on open heart bypasses, angioplasties, and laser surgeries. All these expensive invasive procedures aim to clear the blockages of the big arteries of the heart. But the real problem, the blockage of the millions of tiny vessels where the exchange of oxygen and nutrients takes place, is being ignored. Let me give you an analogy. Let's assume that all the streets in California are impassable, so that food cannot be delivered to the households. Isn't it naive to assume that all your problems are solved by cleaning just a few big freeways but ignore all the side streets and cul-de-sacs? The only way to reverse the hardening of the arteries is by teaching patients to stay on a proper nutrition, exercise, and stress reduction program. Three cardiologists in the San Fernando Valley. Uh, these cardiologists stood around and said, if I didn't have the heart bypass surgery, I'd be dead in no time at all. In the meantime, I heard about the Pritikin program for heart rehabilitation and uh, went up with my wife and talked to Nathan Pritikin for three hours one night. At the end of that time, I decided I was going to try the Pritikin program. I tried it, I've been on it since, and I haven't had a heart operation. Most of the time, any symptom of chest pain, shortness of breath, and arrhythmia can be controlled with this treatment method by opening the energy and blood flow to the tiny vessels. And recently, when I had uh, a little spate of heart palpitations, Dr. Tong treated me twice for those, and they're gone but he immediately started treating me for my heart problem and oh, within maybe a month and a half or two months he kept cutting me down, cutting me down on the medication and he, he took me off of the quinidine and the persontine and for probably a month and a half I was off of the enderol. I wasn't taking the enderol and I was feeling good. And what he has done for me is rather incredible. I have in two and a half months gone from a 17 pills a day to no pills a day. The pains in my chest are treated and removed. They're gone. It's incredible. He says what I needed was an operation and it's very urgent. Of course he scares the pants off you and you immediately exceed to having this operation. Then they bring in a neurosurgeon. Now this man looks at the, the pictures and he sets up a time for you in the hospital and then you get a nice long story that it's not that bad and that you will be home walking within 10 days. However, my stay in the hospital was not 10 days nor two weeks, but it wound up being five weeks in the hospital where I had stress ulcers, bleeding, stomach problems, and everything else that is imaginable. Despite all the medication, my arm just shrunk. It just atrophied. The muscle just atrophied. I found that all the, the pain in my back and the deal with my leg and ankles more severe than it was before, actually, came back. And after Dr. Tong's uh, treatment, my arm finally came back to the normal size. You know, you could just sit there and look at it and tell that, you know, that, hey, it's the same size as the other one now. The epidural block was wonderful for maybe a month, but then it's back with as much pain as it was before. He says usually it takes two or three of them. So we went back and got the second one. Well, the second one didn't seem to take at all. And I have been bothered cr chronically with a highly hernia for 20 years now. And I, t a, a Dr. Kaufman recommended that I have surgery and the internists didn't agree. So therefore I have been suffering all this time with a lot of uh, regurgitating and, and just a lot of pain. And I've only had a very few treatments from, from Dr. Tong, and it's helped me immensely. I says, he'll never put a knife in me again. I says, I've had it. From then, I suffered 
I don't know how many months. Uh, with this hylia hernia, I, I have trouble with it at least two or three times a day. If, if I stoop over, I now have no warning whatsoever. And I, it's just getting worse and worse until I started taking these treatments from Dr. Tong. And it was a very chronic situation. And they, even though they were giving me medication, it didn't help at all. I am astounded. After two treatments, I am walking much better than I have in two, three years. I, I think it's a miracle. Dr. Tong's East-West Wellness and Pain Center is located in Costa Mesa at Harbor and Adams. For more information, call 1-888-DR-TONG-1 or 714-556-8664. You can learn more about Dr. Tong's treatments by listening to patient interviews and viewing case histories on our website at www.drtong.com. Prescription drugs kill over 100,000 Americans a year and rank as the fourth leading cause of death. And the number one killer of people under 36 is side effects from drugs and surgery. If you suffer from chronic pain, drugs and surgery are not the answer. Fortunately, the cure is here. At Dr. Tong's Wellness Pain Center, over 90% of patients experience dramatic relief from the very first treatment. Call 888-DR-TONG-1, visit our website, or tune into our cable program and find the cure. I have uh, such bitter gall tasting uh, stuff that comes up to my mouth and I have no warning of when it's going to happen and it uh, ha happens quite frequently and it n doesn't matter what I eat and uh, it just seemed, it was getting worse and worse until I started to gain these treatments and with, I'm so surprised because with such a few treatments as I've had it stopped. I was pain free for about at Almost a year, I did not go back to Dr. Chong at all. All right, in 1986, I had uh, double inguinal hernia surgeries. Um, and um, at that time, I was suffering a lot of pain from the hernias. So uh, in having the operations, I solved the hernia problem, but uh, postoperatively, I had a lot of postoperative pain. In 1967 and again in 68, I had two cervical surgeries fusions on the disc, on two separate discs, each time. In 1987, the pain was so great in the lower back area, and the legs that I had, <clears throat> laminectomy surgery. But in 1992, I could not take the constant pain any longer. We had another laminectomy surgery. I couldn't find much relief of any kind for that. Basically, I stayed with that excruciating pain. It would always get worse at the end of the day. Um, there was, it would, of course, always be exacerbated under any kind of extra tension. After the second surgery, within six weeks, the pain was back constantly. I've had trouble doing my housework. It's very difficult making up a bed especially with a fitted sheet. I have to have help doing that. I can't run a vacuum. I can't sweep. I can't dust. My back would hurt too much. And in using my arms, they'd go to sleep on me. And it's very difficult to work with hands that are completely numb. Um, he said one of the most astonishing things I've ever had any doctor say to me, and that is not that I'm one in a million and they've never seen a case like me, and this doesn't usually happen, but that he knew exactly what was wrong and that he could give me some pain relief that night. <laughs> and that is truly astonishing, because every other doctor I'd ever been to tells me how exceptional I am and how unusual I am, and this case is very rare, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And the long and short of it is they usually aren't able to do anything for me. And he gave me uh, some shots of anesthesia at uh, uh, what he described were acupuncture points and some acupuncture treatment that afternoon and immediately, and I was in severe pain when I walked in that afternoon, immediately uh, the pain uh, decreased about 90% uh, before I walked out of the office. It was truly phenomenal. Um, I had never had that kind of pain relief coming out of a scenario where I was in excruciating pain in all the time that I uh, have been trying things uh, post-operatively. 
Well, as I said, the first treatment, uh, immediately the amount of uh, reduction of pain was about 90% that afternoon. Uh, it was just a very, very low um, uh, residual uh, of pain when I walked out of here. Um, and that lasted over uh, the next two weeks because it turned out to be two weeks. Be uh, well, actually, I came back the next day and had another treatment, and then it was two weeks before I came back. And during that period, I would say the overall pain reduction maintained itself uh, at least about 75%.